It is match day. We are back in the Premier League against Nottingham Forest later on tonight. But it's a very, very weird match day. It's got a weird feeling to it. For those who know what I'm talking about, waking up to the news that Cody Gakpo is going to Liverpool. For Fabrizio Romano gave the year we go. David Ornstein has also released it. And hearing that he's going to Liverpool after all the rumours that have come from in terms of him coming to United, Ten Hag smiling in an interview when being asked about him, him saying that he, he wants to come to United in the Premier League but there's been no offers. Guys, I did say that we might be getting him in January but once again, the board, the scouting department, the Glazers have failed our manager. We know he wanted Cody Gakpo. Now, of course, you might say that he wasn't a first-choice target. You might say that he's not someone that most or some United fans probably didn't want. But Ten Hag wanted him. You have to accept the fact that the manager wanted Cody Gakpo. And that is a failure by the Glazers. But no surprise there. Which manager did they actually succeed with? So it's good to know that they are busy looking to sell the club. And I definitely think that in the January transfer window, we might not be expecting any signings as we think we are going to get. Because one, the club is up for sale. And two, the Glazers are broke. I don't think they have the money to spend anyway. So if we do get someone, it's probably going to be on a free, being Memphis the pie. Or Atletico Madrid that is basically wanting João Felix to go on loan to another club. Fabrizio, David Ornstein, they've all been saying that we are in talks with George Mendes, his agent. And talks will be resumed sorry, in next week to discuss a solution for João Felix. Now, you might say João Felix is a better player than Cody Gakpo. But... Is he basically what Ten Hag wanted? Of course, he can come in and play as a number nine. He can play as a centre forward, you know, play right across the front three. But is he what Ten Hag wanted? That is the question you ask yourself. Again, take the L, take the loss. Liverpool have signed Cody Gakpo, who was supposedly rumoured to be coming to us. Our scouting department have said that they, haven't, they don't see him developing at this moment in time. They basically said no. So there was interest from Ten Hag, but the club itself never further progressed any talks or never decided to actually go after Cody Gakpo. And you have to give credit to Liverpool's transfer team. Klopp wanted him after he realised that he needs a winger, clearly, Luis Diaz has an injury, and boom, the club did what they did and they got Cody Gakpo for him. Just as quick as they got Luis Diaz last January. We have to accept the reality. Where we are as a club right now, we are not in a position to sign any players until one, the club is sold and two, the people that are dealing with the transfers, the scouting department, the board, the owners need to change. Look what happened with Newcastle. Their players are on fire. Their team, the club is on fire simply because there is a fresh energy and everybody is moving in the right direction. At United, it still seems that the Glazers want to be in control until the very last minute. And they don't care if the club continuously goes into more turmoil. They don't care if the rivals are getting stronger. They are simply waiting it out until they get a bid for, shall I say, five to six billion, maybe even seven, eight billion. It all comes down to what they want. But it is painful to know that a player that our manager wanted is going to one of our rivals. And for his sake, he probably will do well in the Premier League. He is that type of player. But let's go to our... Premier League game tonight against Nottingham Forest. For those who actually stuck this long in the video, thank you. So as I said, Nottingham Forest, we are playing them at Old Trafford. And 
it should be a win for us if we want to be in the top four by the end of the season. We cannot afford a draw, definitely not. It's not per se a must win, but these are the games we should be winning in order to ensure a successful end to the season. And looking at the team that I would potentially want to start, the gear in goal, of course, and knowing that Varan and Martinez is still not back, potentially a centre-back partnership of Maguire and Lindelof, but I would not be surprised if Ten Hag once again plays Casemiro next to Lindelof. Of course, left back, I have a feeling Malaysia will once again play, as Shaw is probably still recovering from the World Cup and probably will play in our next game, or come on, maybe in the second half. And at right back, I think Juan Bissaka did enough against Burnley to warrant himself a starting position against Nottingham Forest tonight. I think in midfield, it will probably be McTominay, Eriksen and Bruno once again. And up front, I think Martial will start up front. Rashford on the left hand side and I think Anthony will be the player to come in on the right hand side against Nottingham Forest. A strong 11, a 11 that should go on to win the game, dominate the ball and play well. And there shouldn't be any other expectation than a win against Nottingham Forest. That is a fact. Of course, the news of Cody Gakpo will have hurt Eric Ten Hag. But his focus will remain on who he has at the club. He made mention of Pelistri, who is developing well and has played well for Uruguay, as we know. He's also spoken of Amatialo, who is doing well at Sunderland. He also spoke about Anthony Ilanga, who could be an option. Of course, we know Ilanga is not the greatest player, but perhaps he is still in a development phase and he is allowed to make mistakes and perhaps not perform well. But there should be progress in his development and he was promoted too early but that is another story so let's hope and i believe we will get the win tonight against nottingham forest i think that the team will want to continue to play well and continue this good run that we have had shall i say before the world cup started and now continuing after the world cup but it's going to be interesting to see how nottingham forest play and how Jesse Lingard plays against his boyhood club that he used to play for and now sees as an enemy. Enjoy the game, guys.